Yo, what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another Rainbow Six Siege Closed Alpha video. And in today's video, I am talking classes. In the Rainbow Six Siege Alpha, there is currently one playable mode, Rescue Hostage. And this requires you to either attack a fortified position and, you guessed it, rescue a hostage or eliminate the enemy team. Or alternatively, you take up the defensive stance and protect the hostage and lay in wait for the incoming enemies. Typically, your team, be that attackers or defenders, is comprised of five members, including yourself, and each member takes on a different role. At the beginning of a round, you pick your class, but no two people can be the same class. While initially this may seem annoying, it's better in the long run as each class has their own unique perk which can help better your team. As an attacker, your available choices are Twitch, whose unique gadget is a shock drone, a remote control drone like the camera drone you use at the start of the attacking round, only with the added ability to zap enemies. Then there's Ash, who carries a breach launcher which fires out an explosive that latches onto a breachable surface and detonates. You then have Sledge, who rather awesomely carries a massive sledgehammer that you can use to smash down breachable surfaces, garage doors, walls, barricades, you name it. Then there's Thatcher, who carries an EMP grenade, which is used to disable any electronics within range. And lastly, there is Thermite, who carries an exothermite charge, which is like an amped up breach kit, which can destroy reinforced walls. Then on the defender side, you have Rook, who carries a bag full of armoured plates that, when dropped, can be used by both you and your team members to equip body armour. Then there's Smoke, who carries disabling gas, which is a remote detonated gas charge that hinders your enemy. Castle carries bulletproof barricades, which are used in the same way as conventional barricades, only they can't be shot through. Then you have Mute, who carries jamming devices, which are especially useful if placed right at the beginning of the round, when the attackers are searching for the hostage, because it will mess up their vision when they get close. And finally, there's Pulse, who carries a heartbeat monitor, which you can use to detect players in proximity through walls and other surfaces. Now, all of these classes also come with pre-made weapon loadouts, but you do still have some flexibility in the open loadout option, where you can swap out your primary weapon, sometimes your secondary, and also occasionally your gadgets as well. Typically, you can swap out things like your breach charges for flashbangs or your deployable wall for barbed wire. And I imagine as you level up and progress through the game, you'll unlock more options on top. Besides the key talent or perks that I've already called out, the classes do also carry different gadgets. Right now, these do largely range between breach charges, flashbangs, protective barriers and barbed wire, but there are a few extras like Smoke's Nitro Charge, which is effectively a remote mine, which can still be used to blow holes in walls, but you're a bit more free to throw as you please. And with that, that brings me to the end of this video. That was just a quick look at the classes that are currently playable in the Rainbow Six Siege Alpha and some of their unique traits. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and as always if you did, it would be awesome if you could leave a like and hit that thumbs up button. And if you aren't already part of the Arax Gaming Nation, then hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single video. Thank you very much for watching, take it easy, catch you next time, peace out.